Bears are so epic, they have donuts named after them. Y'all ever had a bear claw? It's delicious. That's, that's, why, that's why they're so cool. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here, finally back playing Ark Survival Evolve. I do apologize a lot for not having a face cam in this episode right now. For those of you who don't know, I've heard, don't follow me on Twitter, Instagram, everything. I've been traveling throughout Europe and the UK for the past week and um, I don't know, it's been, it's been just trippy. This is like my first video recorded in about a week. Honestly, it's kind of weird even using a keyboard and mouse right now. Like driving my car this morning was so difficult because I hadn't driven in a week. So yes, I'm actually, I'm super excited to be back. I was traveling through like Ireland, Scotland, um, Amsterdam and all those type shizzles because I freaking love those countries. Scotland, I just always try to visit every year because I freaking love Scotland. And there will be a travel vlog later with all that. This giant chest tattoo piece clip I got. I love, I don't know, the whole, it's just been a very crazy week. But I'm finally back and it's finally time to look at crazy shit once again. I can finally turn my character around Woo! I do wish I had my face. Okay, so first we have the Tyranno Titan right here There's been a buttload of creatures added requested by yours truly specifically that I've been very excited This guy I've been waiting for for a bit. It's like the best surprise ever to be coming back from vacation to like many of you guys know, I freaking love Godzilla, and I'm not talking about the kaiju, I'm talking about the mod that I'm specifically responsible for the Jurassic Park Dinos mod, because it is the shiz. Look at this Tyranno Titan, that's so cool. I was just looking up crazy examples of carnivores and crazy shiz out there, and this shiz just stuck out craziest, and it's in the game now, it's like magic. I wish everything in life was this simple, man. <laughs> All the, also, for just real quick, for those of you wondering where my face cam is, when it'll be back, um, I was editing my travel vlog on the plane back because it's a 14 hour fucking plane. And, um, what the hell is Chi? Ew, dude, what? Sorry, I just look over and cheese, you know, the mod dev, he's like playing this daddy dating simulator. What the hell's going on? Okay, so, and I left my, my camera battery charger funny enough on the plane. So it's just, I just can't charge my battery, but I'm going to go run to Best Buy once it opens and find one. So I'll have one for today's later videos, but worst case scenario, I already ordered one off Amazon Prime and that bitch will be here tomorrow morning. So no matter what, I'm just trying to go as little videos as possible. All right, enough talking, Johnny. Jesus, woman. Just talked for like five minutes. Right, so here we have the Tyranno Titan. Now, I do believe this one still has yet to have a saddle added. The Titan itself was just added this morning and the saddle is going to be the next thing to be added. Clearly a much needed thing due to the spikes going up our serrated areas. That just looks, you know, like just generally about as terrible as every other spike dinosaurs with which we place our cheeks. There has been a bunch of changes in Ragnarok and everything too. Conan's updated, so much crazy shit I have to cover because I've been gone for a week, but I, I don't know, man. This was the first thing that had to be done because there's this and then another dinosaur. Not really a dinosaur, another prehistoric creature I had selected. Yes, yeah, so if you guys are down for this kind of shiz and more of it this week, make sure to leave a like. I'm so happy to be back. And let's just officially check out this other creature. I want to whip them out both together and kind of examine them together because they're both equally sexy in my eyes. God, I wish I had my face cam right now. There's so many eyebrow raises I'm gonna do and I just can't. My eyebrows are spiking over here. It's like a seismic just shit storm, but no one's witnessing it. <laughs> so here we have the woolly rhino as well. Look at this creature right here. Not the actual woolly rhino like in art. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Superman over here. This creature does have a saddle. I should probably get the saddle in here so it doesn't look like we're just Superman trying to land and take this piece down. Look how magnificent this thing looks. This was my other second selection. They both were just added to Ark today, awesome enough, because I, I was convenient, you know, I just got into town and all that shiz. But look at this badass creature. This is so freaking cool. I'll whip up photos of both, like, the real, the real creatures that actually existed so you guys can get a comparison to see how cool this actually is. So I was like, my whole goal was just to take creatures that are already in Ark and just, you know, things that can have slightly tweaks added to them. Um, to make them into completely different creatures, luckily Godzilla is one of the most talented and or one of the most talented peeps in town. All right, so for size comparison, here's the Elasso next to Elas. Can I call you that? Does that make sense? Elasmo? Elasmo. I guess it could be just any sort of pronunciation. Really, should Google these things. But I love being taught by things in the comment section. Either way, the look at the gargantuan size next to this furry little bastard. That is hilariously awesome right there. Gotta get. Oh my God, the T-Rex just poops on the Tyranno Titan. See, that's what sucks, is most of the largest carnivores in the world have already been added to Ark. If you want to go carnivores, you gotta gotta go smaller half the time. But, I mean, with a name like freaking Tyranno Titan, it just sounds like Tyranno Rex, I guess. I don't know, I feel like the, this name is more epic. Perhaps it's just I'm just so more used to the T-Rex name, but it's got Titan and Tyranno in the same name. You know, that's pretty schnaz. 
You look like, oh god, I just love this. And whenever I look at this creature's face as well too, all I hear is that narwhal song playing in my head and it just makes me infinitely happier. I used to listen to that song before ever recording. Okay, see so you about, oh god, I forgot, I'm like trying to do this professionally how we usually would, but it's been so long since I've recorded and I feel like I'm just looking at giant new epic creatures. See this, now I'm excited to get back to my survival series too because I'm gonna get to tame these motherfuckers right here. Look at this creature, I just love it so much. Thank you so much, Godzilla. You've done such an amazing job. It's no wonder your mod is like rising to the top of one of the biggest, newest mods in Ark because clearly it's Phantasmagorgle. There has been a few other dinosaurs added as well since I've been out of town. I'll get those in here too. These, well, there's been a lot of creatures added to a few different epic mods actually since I've been gone. But I just had to, God, I just love the variety. So beautiful. Holy crap, am I sad I don't have face cam right now. I would love it so dearly. Oh shit, I forgot that was going on over there. Well, yeah, I would expect that to go down. This still might be, I understand the tire. Ah! Good lord! What is attacking me right now? Is it those fly? I think it was the flyers that peeked in. It was pretty vicious. Oh, it's just vultures, dude. Vultures can kiss my balls. With all these dinosaurs I have, they should get wrecked though, right? Theoretically. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go, Jesus Christ, this cave bear is absolutely batshit crazy. This thing is, oh my God, look at this thing. I had no idea this was even added. I had not been keeping track with what's been added to the mod. Just, you know, just kinda had heard that these creatures I had ordered were ready for delivery. But look at this beast right here. That is awesome. Oh, this is amazing. God, this mod is so cool. Look at this big fella. It looks so much troopier when it has that cave bear face. Like that, that is, that is, the, bears are so epic, they have donuts named after them. Y'all ever had a bear claw? It's delicious. That's, that's, why, that's why they're so cool. Look at the, the fact that he just maintains in bears, probably stuffs his butt shut and hibernates for months at a time. What a cool fella. That's so sick. All right, and then there were these other two that we added over here, the Jurassic Park Giga, which I already love dearly. Can you guys point out when there was a, a Giga in Jurassic Park? I wasn't in any of the movies, right? But um, I think it was in one of the books. One of the books would make the most sense, I would say. Because, oh, that looks so freaking cool. It just shits all the art Giga. Why is that? I just, I love the way it looks just so much more. It's face and everything. I understand the details. I mean, they're pretty damn similar. But the slight details and the narrow face and everything is what makes me love it even more. This size difference is absolutely bonkers though, man. This thing would get completely eaten and digested and it'd be pooped out whole. Like you'd be able to see the creature's face in the poop. The stomach acid would not dissolve the features. It would just, it wouldn't even be necessary to push out the backside. That is straight up bonkers right there, son. But I do love it's much more narrow face. Reminds me of a lizard I used to have and loved dearly till I accidentally fed it crickets that were way too big for it and woke up the next day to it beaten eaten by crickets. That was very upsetting. I learned a lot that year in middle school. But it does look super cool. I love that it's smaller too, just because it's not as fucking terrifying to come across. It's more of a happy experience, you know what I mean? You come across a, a Giga Noto like that you can tame without having to worry about it raging out and beating you like some abusive husband from the 50s, whatever that's about. Unless this does have a rage meter, but either way, you weren't spawned with blood red eyes. I, I, you don't look like Sauron tracking down the ring. I just trust you more generally already off the bat. I still feel like the newest creature out of all these creatures added, this this creature right here, this this um, Elasmo might be my favorite because it's- Oh, you big adorable poop bucket, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a, that's a happy fella, that's right. <laughs> In reality, that would probably kill you though. You can't just have a creature flip over on its side like that while you're on its back. It would it would mean death, most certainly. Oh, Titano or Ty Tyranno Titan, I do love you dearly, buddy, but this guy right here. Have not seen this one either. Ooh, I love that red stripe in its face. What is it? Red, uh, if it's yellow touches red, then you're dead. Red touches yellow, you're a lucky fellow. There's some, there's some, what is it, you guys? What's that s slogan or whatever where if there's po uh, creatures with color on their faces or bodies? I just love how many options there are to do with creatures with this like slightly shaped head, you know what I'm saying? <whistles> Sounds like my mom when I wouldn't freaking clean my dishes up right. That's eerie, actually. I need to hear that one more time. It's like almost like, is this dead spying on me and taking noises from my living room? What's going on here? <laughs> That's so weird. That's exactly what she sounds like. How the hell did they know that? You are freaking look at that name. It's like they're just trying to make me look stupid on videos these days. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what you were really called in history. Go fuck yourself. It's way more simple. 
All right, now just for my diehard arc players out there who want to actually know the creature stats. God, I just love your face so much. You want to actually know the creature stats based on their level and everything. But I'm pretty sure it's the same. All the Jurassic Park creatures are about the same. They, um, they, for the most part, just have about the stats you would imagine. They don't have any kind of overpowered, crazy, extra shizzle. You know what I'm saying? And even the ones that are in arc and in um, the mod, like where they have different versions of the same kind of creature, the Jurassic Park dinosaurs will always be about as strong as the Ark ones, just always a little stronger because the dev understands that that just makes it a little more badass, you know what I'm saying? I love you, dude! I understand you look a lot like that guy, I just don't even care. The faces, man, and the colors, that's where it's all at. 2,000 health, that's pretty cool. It is level 30, though, which I, I freaking love because I'll bet you just have some insane... Yeah, see, that's Vertoculus right there. I'd say the Giga's the only one that's stronger in, in the actual Ark than, as opposed to the mod because... Well, it's the Giga. It's giant and it rages out and beats people who feed it and love it like some abusive son of a bitch. Hey, wait a second, did I have a cave, cave bear around here? I totally did have a cave bear. What's going on, cave bear? Yeah, stick with the boys, man. Let's think you were the water. A lot of the reasons I'm not testing a lot of these creatures, like uh, water, like I'll be mean, swimming and that sort of thing, though, is because I understand it's going to be very similar, if not identical, to their uh, or to their arc counterpart. To recreate a swimming animation would probably take months to a year, and there's just all around no point to doing that whatsoever. So I would not imagine it gets done. You know, plus it was like they already swim fine. Why would a bear and like a freaking other kind of prehistoric bear swim that differently? They generally have the same body parts and appendages. What would be cool though, what would be amazing is if bears could climb trees. Oh, that'd be so cool because that's like one of the things you're never supposed to do if you're running from a bear. Never climb a tree because even though they can run faster than you, they can most certainly climb a tree way freaking faster than you. So if these guys could get, if they could get some sort of thigh-like animation of tree climbing, I think that would just be the coolest shiz ever. The sun is really messing with me this with this bear. It, it only wants to light up his ass in on its face. There we go. I didn't expect the bear to be here. Oh, look at that. Is that a thigh-like face? Is that how that was done? I wonder if that's a thing. Yeah, a dire bear could just eat poo for the most part. That is a thigh-like face, I think, isn't it? Because all these creatures are morphed in just based off of all actual art creatures. I would have thought it was based off the dire bear. But it has much less hair on its face, and that mouth is much more thigh-like resembling. Which would be freaking... Is it though? Or is it just did they just do such an amazing job? Or did uh, Godzilla just do such an amazing job at changing the face? Because if it... No, nah, but removing feathers off it or uh, fur would be a bitch. I don't even think that's possible. Plus its ears are more... Oh, uh, I'm just hoping that it's based off the of thigh like and not the dire bear. Because that would make the climbing animations infinitely easier. And a bear that could climb trees is the shit. How do you think they get all those beehives? You know what I'm saying? I do love how much bigger you are than this bear too. Like, you look like my bear cub. Or my woman, you know? But definitely not my physical equal. Look at the size, of the, the difference is astounding. Yeah, that face is terrifying. I'm, I'm definitely getting a thigh-like vibe from it now, which I'm super happy about, because <laughs> that means it would be a billion times easier to make that mofo climb some trees. All right, guys, well, there's there's a bunch of um, creatures, a bunch of different kind of mythological monsters that have been added to a few things, too, but I'll save that for another video. Just for those of you who wanted to click on this kind of thing with this specialized content, you know what I'm saying? Prehistoric creatures that have existed. This, this, I think, takes the cake. Make sure to let me know which one of you guys' favorite is out of, like, I, actually just between this one right here and the Tyranno Titan over there because they were both creatures I requested and, um... It's cool too, it's like they were both just, I'm so happy they were like both finished today, the day I get back, like what, what a world, man. What a world, but um, but yeah, cause these, these I kinda thought everyone would, I keep looking at the fucking camera and there's no camera. These I kinda thought everyone would thoroughly enjoy, so I wanna know what everyone's vibe is as far as dinosaurs creatures, they went added into Ark. I even asked Gaming Beaver, but he was a little, uh, little just skeptical cause he doesn't play Ark that much, and I was like, you know dinosaurs and creatures really well, what would be an amazing one? I don't know, what's a really cool one from like Jurassic World the game or something? <gasps> I wonder if hybrids would be possible, that would be amazing. I don't yeah, so let me know which one you guys are leaning towards so I know which vibe to take into the future, which crazy bitches to have added. And yeah, I'm gonna go start practicing some stuff. There's so much content I have to catch up on. Plus I need a freaking camera. I'm staring at the wall right now, it's so weird. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love you guys. Oh. Yeah.